adding an item to the daily bulletin. Your school needs to communicate current events, policies, deadlines, celebrations, and notices. But how do you reach your target audience efficiently? The answer is to use PowerSchool's daily bulletin to communicate with all of your school's stakeholders. Teachers, administrative staff, parents, and students. Let's look at how to create a news item about an upcoming pep rally and how to tailor it to fit your needs. From the Start page, click Special Functions in the main menu. Then click Daily Bulletin Setup. On the Daily Bulletin Setup page, click New to begin preparing your news item. To start, enter the range of dates that you want the news item to appear in your bulletin. The bulletin item will not appear before the start date or after the end date. Use the Target Audience menu to determine who actually sees your news item. To send a message to staff members who sign in to PowerSchool as administrators, select Admin Users. For example, you might want to notify your PowerSchool administrators that there will be a server backup over the weekend and PowerSchool will not be available during that time. Select Teacher Users if you have a message for teachers and administrators, such as a staff meeting. You want to share the news about the pep rally with students, parents, teachers, and administrators, so select Public for the widest range of message visibility. Use the Sort Order field to specify the order in which items appear in the bulletin. The lower the number, the closer to the top the bulletin item appears. Next, enter a title for the item. Get creative and come up with a name for your bulletin item that catches the viewer's attention. You don't have to go to extremes to create your message. In the Item Body field, type the content of your bulletin item. Since the message will be displayed in a web browser, you may want to add some HTML formatting for emphasis or for line breaks. For example, insert a line break tag before the last sentence. You want to emphasize the time and date of the rally in bold lettering, so place a beginning bold tag before the words, and an ending bold tag after. The ending tag always looks similar to the beginning tag, but includes a forward slash. Click Submit. To preview the message as it will appear on the Daily Bulletin page, click Preview Bulletin. Here you see the text exactly as it appears to your audience. If you see a typo in one of your items, click Edit at the end of your bulletin item and revise the message. If the item looks correct, then you're done. Remember, to add an item to the Daily Bulletin, click Special Functions and select Daily Bulletin Setup. Click New to create the new bulletin item. Enter the details, such as the date range, target audience, and the sort order. Next, type the title and the content of your bulletin. Then click Submit to add the message to the Daily Bulletin. There you have it! Now that you've used the Daily Bulletin to communicate with students, parents, teachers, and administrators, the pep rally should be a roaring success!